Hi, this is Laser. Um, back with another video. This video is going to be a bit different. It's going to be again One Piece based, mainly on the newest episode that came out this week or maybe last week, episode 957. Mainly, what I'm going to be talking about is Kobe in the episode and how I've seen a lot of mainly on Instagram and other social media platforms of people just kind of their own thoughts on the whole Kobe situation and you know there's a lot of a lot of things were revealed in, in episode 957 granted I already knew it because I read the manga so I, I've known this for like a good half a year but main one I'm going to talk about is um, the, the atmosphere around Kobe the air the idea of Kobe because some people are kind of downplaying him which I, I don't quite like like I feel like they've kind of Missed the point of, of Kobe's role in the whole grand scheme of things. And mainly the problem of how I say they're downplaying them is that pretty much in the episode, um, Kobe, we learned that Kobe is going out, who is, he's ranked as a captain, is going out to capture B um, Boa Hancock, a very strong warlord. A very strong warlord. Which, again, she, she's definitely not weak. She is strong in her own right. Um, and has a deadly devil fruit, which honestly, you think about how, I don't know how Kobe could really fight her, considering if you're a male, you're pretty much already paralyzed, but, alright, I'm missing a point, but pretty much I just want to say is, uh, people are pretty much saying Kobe stands no chance against Bo Hancock, he, he's going to get bodied, Bo Hancock is going to be easy for her, but, like, people forget, if, if the anime surrounded Kobe instead of Luffy, Kobe would be your, your 100% average normal shonen character like he, every time we have seen kobe he has only gotten stronger he has never gotten weaker or not proven that he has changed he's always gotten stronger back in water um water nine i, I hope i didn't butcher your name back when we first met or found out that luffy's grandfather was um garp monkey d garp kobe and hell him hell meppo at the time had gotten a lot stronger they were using cp9 tactics um they, they were they were faster um they, they could actually somewhat throw a hit and then we see him again we see him again at marineford kobe he he was about around the same strafe but he he improved when it came to being brave and he learned observation hockey at that moment so again he gotten stronger and then we see him again around the dresser rosu arc where he pretty much um we, we found out that he knows he's he's masters observation hockey and I, I saw one post on Instagram I I mean I'm not saying it, you know it's true it could be wrong could be true but basically that he only knows one hockey yeah that let's let's be honest most likely a lot of people after that time skip a lot of people learn ornament hockey observation hockey law um smoker pretty much the strong um straw hats a lot of people in, in that two year time skip learn hockey that be that would be no different for Kobe. Most likely, he knows observation hockey and ornament hockey. It'd just be weird if he didn't know ornament hockey. Everyone and their grandma has ornament hockey. So you know, I just just want to clear that up. If some people just may not think, you know, that that's just my theory. That I most likely think he has ornament hockey. I think in the Dress of Rosie arc, Hal Meppo had ornament hockey. If Hal Meppo can have it, we know for sure um, Kobe has it. But yeah, I just like. I feel like he has a chance of beating Boa Hancock with with everything he's proven over the years and how his strength keeps getting better. And remember, that was Dreza Rozu. We are now at uh, at Wayno. I have no doubt that Kobe again took a uh, uh, bounds and leaps in his strength once again. Hmm. What else? But yeah, I mean, another reason why I feel like it's very possible for Kobe to defeat Bo Hancock and, and take her to, who knows, maybe Impel Down, um, is for that, in, in the whole grand scheme of things, in the whole story, multiple people have huge hefty go, um, goals here to, to, to reach in order to change the world. You know, Luffy wants to be the Pirate King, so does um, uh, Eustace Kid, uh, whatever the hell Law wants to do. Um, 
Kobe, I think we heard like a while ago, wants to be an admiral because he knows he, he the reason why he works with I feel like why he works with X Drake is because he knows there's corruption within the world government. Now stay with me. The reason the reason why he works with X Drake is because of for that one reason. He wants to be an admiral in order to clear that corruption, in order to make the world government actually hundred percent pure in a way to re to redeem it, to do what pretty much um. Fujitora, I guess, is doing to try and redeem the world government. That's kind of the main reason why he wants to be a, um, an, an admiral. And the only way to get to becoming an admiral is to get um, promotions, to, to rank up, um, to get higher. And, and the good way to get promoted is to take down Boa Hancock. Don't get me wrong. I like Boa Hancock. I really do. But Kobe's prominence in the story honestly at this point is more important than whatever the hell Boa Hancock's gonna do I just don't what 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 do we need to see from Boa Hancock that we've already haven't seen she's a warlord she's a funny character that loves Luffy there's not much importance to her character but there's a lot more importance to Boa Han um sorry to Kobe I feel like you know it, it, in the grand scheme of things it makes more sense to me to see Kobe take down Boa Hancock and get that promotion than just Bo Hancock beating Kobe. Because then what was the point of that whole um, scenario of finding out that Kobe's going after? What's the point if, if he's, yeah, we're going to go after Bo Hancock, and then Bo Hancock just wins anyway and just goes on for a day? Nothing changed. Like, it just stays static. I don't think that's how, I don't think that's Oda's goal. I don't think he's just going to go like that. So, yeah, I, and another reason I feel like some people don't understand is, sure, you know, Kobe's a captain, but look at Smoker. Look at Smoker. Smoker at the beginning of One Piece was a captain, and it's it's pretty. Smoker was strong.